What's going on guys? It's Daniela. Today I'm going to be filming a vlog. I'm going to go shopping for some baking stuff. I'll probably film when I make a cake and overall I just want to show you guys my day. I hope you guys are excited and my sister just got here so I need to hurry up. That's her. <laughs> By the way, I don't have a tripod right now so I'm going to be carrying the camera all day so if it gets a little shaky or my face is a little too close, that's why. <laughs> but let's get started and let's do this. the 10th time I've recorded because my family keeps interrupting but I'm back home I'm getting started on the cake batter behind me or in this side is all my baking stuff I separated the dry ingredients from the wet ingredients just so it can be way easier for me to film and um, I'm making a strawberry cake I don't know if I've mentioned that so the cake I'm making is for my sister which I said in the beginning it's gonna be a strawberry cake with a coconut cream cheese filling yum Some people when they make the strawberry cake it's with strawberry gelatin to infuse the flavor but I don't know I'm really not just about that life I really like to try my best to always do something from scratch that's honestly all my recipes they're all from scratch and um, what I do for my recipe let's just get started <laughs> guys I'm currently editing this video and I didn't realize how much background noise there was gonna be but that's honestly my nephew and I couldn't do anything about it, so I'm sorry about that, but let's get back to the video. First thing I like to do is get all my strawberries. I take off all the stem and, of course, wash them. Um, you put them, you could put them in a blender. I just use my blender cup because it's way easier to clean. I just put as many as I can in here. Um, do not blend them with water just because it's not necessary. And when you put them inside the pan, which is going to be my second my third step, <laughs> um, it's just going to evaporate, to be honest. So it's not really necessary. So just pack it up. how to do a crumb coat which is exciting it's my first tutorial and let's see how it goes if you don't know what a crumb coat is it's pretty much the base before decorating you just trap all the crumbs and all the stuff that you really don't want to be shown on the decorations and yeah so it's pretty much your base and let's get started start off with your crumb coat you really just want to do a ring of buttercream around the edges and if you have a filling this is the moment where you start putting it in the middle now for your last layer you really want to turn over the cake just because when you do the crumb coat you don't want to put the frosting on here because as you keep scraping and stuff, all the crumbs are going to come off and it's just way easier to use the flat surface in the bottom. Everyone always has their different style when it comes to baking. Every baker is completely different. My technique might not work for some people. Don't be afraid to try something new because honestly, you can do it any way you want. That was so freaking corny. So 
here's pretty much the final for a crumb coat. I hope you guys enjoyed my first video. I'm really excited to do this YouTube journey with all of you guys. Thank you guys for the support and love already. And honestly, if you guys ever have any video suggestions, feel free to comment down below or you guys can always message me on my social media. I'll leave it down in the description. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. And if you guys want to see the finishing touches for this cake, look forward to the next video.